The rebellion against the injustice we are all experiencing is taking many forms. The most recent is of what happened on Wall Street. Well, today, Wall Street had its worst trading day since October, but there was a notable winner. Shares of GameStop were up 134 percent today, continuing an unlikely rally. How and why it's happening is quite a story. A number of hedge fund companies have been shorting stock to a company called GameStop. In other words, taking huge bets worth billions that GameStop stock will go down. In an effort to save the game's retailer, a group of small investors organized on a Reddit page and started a campaign to encourage buying GameStop stock. This increased the stock price overnight, and with that, the hedge fund company's positions were liquidated, and they lost billions. This was a kick in the teeth to Wall Street from the average man. But as usual, the rich cannot lose, and they always have to be bailed. To stop them from losing more money, strings were pulled in the background, and trading platforms like Robinhood have blocked their customers from buying any GameStop stock to stop the stock from rising further. Curious to get your reaction to this notion of this uprising, a, a revolt, uh, if you will, against the hedge fund community. I understand what's going on in the market. Uh, this is not going to end well when it ends. And the bigger question is, when does it end? I don't think it ends soon, but I think it will end, and it will end very badly for the public. And just as if it's a game between children, the losing kid decides to change the rules of the game just because they are losing. The game has been rigged for a long time, and this must change. The time for decentralization has come, and this is where new technologies like cryptocurrencies and blockchain come in. These technologies could help us solve issues such as censorship and financial corruption. I will start with our story, which is a perfect real-life example of censorship and financial control. We started back in May 2020 with the idea of setting up an uncensored platform for documentaries. When we started collecting donations to build our platform, we used PayPal, thinking they are the most well-known and trusted payment processor by the people. Six months in, and after collecting thousands in donations to build the platform, one day we get a request by Business Insider asking us to comment on the closure of our PayPal account. At that point, we weren't aware the account was closed, so we checked our email, and there it was. An email from PayPal stating the account was permanently closed. The whole amount we collected was frozen, and until this day, we have no access to any of the funds. After numerous phone calls, the only explanation we received is that the account is high risk and the funds will either be cleared or refunded after 180 days following an investigation. What is intriguing is how would a publication like Business Insider know our PayPal account is closed before we did? This is a perfect example of how they could apply financial control and smear you with one move. But I want to talk solutions. Blockchain technology could help us address these problems. The financial issue is easily solved by using cryptocurrency. In our case, we are asking supporters to contribute via cryptocurrencies. We have the information on our website where you can support building the platform. The second issue, which is censorship. This can also be solved with the blockchain technology and decentralization. The purpose of democracy is foiled if its people don't ask questions. And that's all that some of us are trying to do. Simply ask the questions that are on everyone's mind and investigate them. This is in a time when mainstream media has become nothing but an echo chamber for governments and corporations. The censorship is the beginning of tyranny. You know, if the, whether it's George Orwell or Franz Kafka or Aldous Huxley or Edwin R. Morrow, all the people who, who instructed us on how a democracy devolves from democracy to tyranny, have all said the first thing that happens is the censorship. The journalism industry is in crisis. Good journalism and making money are no longer synonymous. 
Today, just five corporations control more than 90% of American media outlets, a phenomenon that's similarly playing out around the world. Journalism is increasingly becoming more a profit vehicle than a pillar of democracy. You can't have democracy without the free flow of information. <laughs> uh, the, you know, the, it's critical. Public trust in media is at an all-time low. This toxic media environment comes at a time when we as a society are more divided than ever before. A growing number of journalism outlets have mirrored this trend. Instead of being an objective voice that rallies us around the facts, many are opting to pander to polar extremes at either end of the political spectrum with sensationalist headlines designed to maximize page views. Hard-hitting investigative stories that expose mass corruption, which can take months to report, simply don't pay the bills as they once did. This marks a threat to not only journalism, but democracy itself. We must create new systems that reward and protect journalists and experts that work on investigating major corruption in all its forms. To solve this problem, we are working on a new blockchain platform. After lessons learned from what happened with platforms like Parler, who overnight were shut down because Amazon decided to kick them off their servers, we are forced to move to blockchain. We see this as the only way we can have a trusted space for investigative journalists and experts to share their findings in a community that regulates itself based on a token curated registry model. For more information about the Mirror Project, please go to www.mp-22.com. And for those who are not familiar with blockchain technology, we will be releasing videos in the coming weeks explaining what it is and how it works and the huge positive impact it could have on our lives and freedoms if we manage to embrace and develop it before less honourable hands take control over it. <laughs> <laughs>